Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on dividing a decimal by a decimal. So we've got these different divisions here and in all but one of the cases we're dividing a decimal number, so we've got something after the decimal point, by a decimal number. Now the strategy is this and I'll explain why this works. Multiply both numbers by 10 until you're dividing by a whole number. So let me demonstrate to you that that definitely works. Let's suppose we had eight divided by four is equal to two, that's clearly true. Well, if we multiply both of these by 10, we get 80 divided by 40. Well, how many times does 40 go into 80? Well, it goes in twice. The answer is still two. So if we multiply both these numbers by 10, it doesn't change the result. So we don't affect the answer by timesing both of these by 10. So let's do that with A. 8 divided by 0.2, if you times both of them by 10, we get 80 divided by, well, when we times this by 10, we just move the decimal point and we get 2. So now we've got 80 divided by 2, and that's relatively simple. When we halve 80, we get 40. So that is the answer. What about B? 5.67 divided by 0.3. Again, we can just times both these numbers by 10 until we're dividing by a whole number. So we times that by 10, you move the decimal point once, you get 56.7. And if you times this by 10, the decimal point moves once, you get 3. And now, although that's not a whole number, we are dividing by a whole number, so that's okay. So we can use the usual approach we've done in previous videos. We're going to do 56.7 using bus stop method or whatever you want to call it, divide by three. And you remember that you just need to put the decimal point here in the same place as you've got the decimal point in the number you're dividing into. Yep. So threes into five goes in once, remainder two. Threes into 26, that goes in eight whole times, remainder two and then freeze into 27 goes in nine whole times. So the answer is 18.9. And the final one, we've got 0.36 divided by 0.012. Now if we first times both by 10, as per this advice here, uh, we can see that becomes 3.6, and then this is gonna become 0.12. Let's keep going. We could just times by 10 and 10 again, but I'm just going to do it step by step to avoid confusing you. We times that by 10, 36. If we times that by 10, it becomes 1.2. This is, that's a whole, well, that's a whole number, but this is not. We need to be dividing by a whole number. The second number after the divide has to be the whole number. So that's times by 10 again. That becomes 360 divided by, well, that becomes 12. So we need to do 360 divided by 12. If we did bus stop, but you might be able to do this in your head. How many 12s go into three? You can't do that, but 12s into 36 goes three whole times, no remainder. 12s into zero, it's just zero. So the answer is 30. So the final answer to this is 30.